Daily Encouragement for Thursday, May 21st, 2020. The verse comes from 2 Corinthians 3, 4-6, New King James, the Spirit, not the letter. And we have such trust through Christ toward God, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Used of God is the title of today's devotion. There is a paradox about the ministry of the New Covenant. Its ministers are at the same time meek and self-effacing, and yet confident and competent. Its strength lies not in academic prowess, but in evident spiritual results in the saints it produces. You show that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, verse 3. Comments James Denny, a distinguished career at the university or in the divinity schools proves that a man can write with ink under favorable circumstances. It does not prove more than that. It does not prove that he will be spiritually effective and everything else is irrelevant. The ministers of the new covenant are characterized by an obvious disdain for worldly wealth and a sincere delivery of a message which comes from God Unlike so many, we do not peddle the word of God for profit. On the contrary, in Christ we speak before God with sincerity like men sent from God. 2 Corinthians 2.17 I can forgive the preacher almost anything, said Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones, if it gives me a sense of God. This ministry has about it the fragrance of priceless perfume, the fragrance of the knowledge of him, 2 Corinthians 2.14 I heard you there, muttered one of Samuel Rutherford's hearers as he turned from some vexed question of the time to speak of the beauty and fragrance of Sharon's bleeding rose. Pray with me. To be used by you, God, effectively ministering to the broken, declaring salvation to the lost, Giving praise to your name is so much more meaningful than any document or diploma that shows the approval of men. May our sacrifices of praise and obedience be a sweet aroma to you, Lord. This world has nothing for us, Lord. You are all we desire. You are all we need. The day of your return grows closer every day, Lord. May our hearts and minds be found in you, Jesus. Help us to do all we can to gather in those who would confess your name, giving you all the praise, honor, and glory, Jesus. Amen. All right, and the links are there as usual if you want to check that out. And uh, there's a link also for some worship if you want to check that out too, some good worship song. All right, so give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and leave a comment, question, prayer request. Love to hear from you. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.